Okay, next we're going to use identities and or complementary angle theorem to find the exact value of these expressions and you can't use your calculator. First one, we have sine squared of 24 degrees plus cosine squared of 24 degrees and we're trying to find that. The identity that we're going to use is sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta which equals 1. So these two are the same angle that applies here, that equals 1. Next one. <coughs> we have sine of 35 degrees times cosecant of 35 degrees. And what you're going to look at is cosecant right here. It's going to be a quotient identity, which states that cosecant of theta, 35, equals 1 over sine of theta, 35. Both same angle, so it applies here. So we're going to change that. I like to write it out. Sine of 35 over 1 just helps me see it better. Uh, and you multiply that by 1 over sine of 35 because of that. And that equals to 1. Everything cancels. Next one. Tangent of 80 degrees minus sine of 80 degrees over cosine of 80 degrees. All the angles are the same again. You can use the identity. The quotient identity which states that tangent of theta or 80 degrees equals sine of theta over cosine of theta. Uh, they're all the same. So you're going to rewrite this as tangent of 80 degrees minus tangent of 80 degrees. Those are the same. That's zero. Next one. We have sine of 12 minus cosine of 78. Again, those add up to 90 degrees. Um... So you're going to use the complementary angle theorem, which I've written out right here. Sine of A of angle A equals cosine of 90 degrees minus that same angle, A. So how it applies to this equation, you could flip this around, but you're going to have sine of 12 degrees equals cosine of 90 degrees minus 12 degrees. And that's just going to prove that cosine of 78 degrees equals sine of 12 degrees and vice versa. So, you put that in and you get sine of 12 degrees minus 12 degrees. That's going to give you zero. For E, you have sine of 71 degrees times cosine of 19 degrees plus sine of 19 degrees times cosine of, nine, cosine of 71 degrees. Alright, uh, same, the complementary angle theorem comes in. And you have sine of 71 degrees equals cosine of 90 degrees minus 71 degrees so that shows that sine of 71 and cosine of 19 uh, those two are equal I uh, did it again for the other side of the equation even though it's going to show the same thing so it's just flipped so those two are also equal um, I'm going to use sine for this side and cosine for this side that's sine of 71 degrees times sine of 71 degrees cosine of 71 degrees times cosine of 71 degrees. So, those multiplied out, that's the same thing as sine, sine squared of 71 degrees plus cosine squared of 71 degrees. And you're going to have to look back to the Pythagorean identity, <coughs> which states that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta same angles equal 1. So we use that identity. Those two angles are the same, it's squared. It's going to equal 1. There you go.